Our top story in Winnie tonight. The community is reflecting on the loss of a well-known businessman, Larry Barron. Many knew him as the owner of Larry's old time trade days. Barron passed away Sunday, but his legacy continues. Barron turned an ordinary flea market into an extraordinary business market. Today, 12 News reporter Kayla Shote caught up with Larry's longtime friends. And Kayla, they all say Larry's legacy extends far beyond his business. Brenda, friends tell me Larry Barron was all about promoting Chambers County. From encouraging vendors to come from all over the state to sell their goods at his market to mentoring fourth graders, friends say he loved his community. Good friend. He had an infectious personality and, and he'll be greatly missed. I mean, the best way to sum this up is we've all kind of been emotionally blindsided by this. Larry Barron had a passion for vending. In 2005, he bought Larry's Old Time Trade Days in Winnie. And he did a good job of it, of bringing in uh, vendors from all over the state and even out of state. He was able to get thousands of people every month to come and shop from over 500 local vendors, selling things like antiques, wood carvings, jewelry, food, clothing, and furniture. Just kind of made them on the weekend, and they would sell them out at Larry's, and their business flourished. And they would, you know, now they're actually making a living uh, selling those. When Larry wasn't at the flea market, he was mentoring local youth as a member of the Optimus International Club. Every Wednesday, Larry would have lunch with other members to discuss how to help kids in their chicken program. It's a drug um, prevention class that we put on here at East Chambers uh, ISD for the fourth graders. Uh, local businessmen such as Larry himself. Today is the first meeting since he passed at Tijuanita's fish camp, his members keeping his legacy alive. In a nutshell, Larry was a treasured member of the community, for sure. Um, this was his meeting that he had originally arranged, and this is the movers and shakers of Winnie. From business to mentorship and friendship, Larry's legacy is long-lasting. What he's done in this community to bring a light to this county will live on forever. Brenda, Larry's wife is thanking everyone for their outpouring of love and support. She confirmed with 12 News the market will open back up on Friday, January 5th. In studio, Kayla Shote, 12 News.